Every day, you have to stand guard. Every day, you have to stand guard to the door of your mind. Okay, there's so much information that has been bombarded to us every single day on your social media, on your smartphone, on the news, your friends around you. We're literally bombarded by information all day long. And those information can become either flowers or weeds into your garden of your mind. And if you're not vigilant, if you're not paying attention to what you allow to receive and what you're going to water and grow in your mind, it's exactly what you're going to create in your life. Because if the first thing you do in the morning is check your Facebook news or your Instagram, and then you start automatically to feel like and comparing yourself to other people and you're feeling not good enough, it's not going to work out. You're already planting those weeds in your head that is going to grow bigger and bigger every time you reinforce them. Or if you watch the news and you're bombarded with fear, be afraid of this, be afraid of that, be afraid of this. It's constantly bombarding you with fear. And so you're going to go out into the world and you're going to be on the lookout because everything is to be afraid. The economy, the terrorists, the, the crazy guy is going to blow himself out. And you're going to start to see them everywhere because you're planting those information in your mind. It's the saying that garbage in equals garbage out. There's no other way around it. So what information do you allow to receive inside of you? Who do you surround yourself with? Instead of watching endless hours of Netflix and scrolling down your Facebook feed and your Instagram feed, pick up a book or follow some people that inspire you for a change or read some article about something that you are passionate about, about something that excites you, about something new. Something that can add up, gives you new idea, more creativity, more confidence, or just more excitement. But basically, some quality information that is valuable to you. And keep on, every day, you have to keep on nurturing the seeds. One of the things that I like to do is listening to podcasts when I'm on the train or when I'm walking to a certain place. I'm always listening to an audiobook or a podcast. That is one way for me to turn this little commute into a, like a university. So I'm constantly trying to feed myself with information that I find valuable or trying to learn something new so I can broaden my awareness and my perception in life. And at the same time, you also need to bring down those other channels that you receive. Everything that you see is bombarding you with things you don't want fear, or doubt, or negativity, you also want to remove those so that you can not become conflicted with true type of information, but be aligned toward what you want and choose consciously what kind of information you're going to accept in the garden of your mind and what kind of weed you're going to pull out and what kind of flowers you're going to water. And this needs to be an everyday job. Because the moment your awareness fades away, you're going to become, again, a very easy prey for the advertisement company, for the media, for social interaction. Everything is designed today to get your attention. And they want your attention. Why? Because they're always planting little seeds in you. So you have to become also your own master in this way and direct your attention and your energy on things that you want rather than being distracted and having your energy pulled out of you.